Yeah, hi there everyone. It's uh, Aaron here, uh, founder and CEO of XG Triple I Games. Uh, nice to be sp uh, speaking with you again. Hope you're all doing well, being about your ambition, everything like that. Uh, obviously, I, I one of the reasons why I've been uh, doing a video is because I had before I had a uh, problem with the uh, charging cable. I was trying to figure out, uh, you know, what that what that might be. Is the charging cable? Is the charging the adapter? The phone itself, and obviously it is the phone itself because the battery is not good. It's at 50 50 percent, and it's basically the phone's almost dead. But problem turned out to be the um, the lightning port. So there's a whole bunch of gunk in there, stuff in there. Uh, got all that out, and now it works fine. It kind of jiggles around the port. You don't want it. You don't want it wobbling. In, you know, in, in the port, you want a nice solid connection. But it does still do that. But it charges up, but the problem because it's so old is that it, when it gets down to a certain point, it'll start draining and draining and draining, and then I'll just kind of have to leave it still because you don't really want to use your phone while it's being charged. So I just got to keep this the cable uh, connected. Uh, it's not uh, it's not an M it's not an Apple certified uh, cable, but it does work. It does do the job fine. I'm also not using an Apple adapter. No, you're not supposed to do that. But the one I'm using is working fine. It's five volts. Standard. If you have under five five volts, it's gonna low charge. It's you know it's gonna or it's gonna slow charge. But it's good. So you know yeah that's one of the reasons why I wasn't getting getting a video out. Um, I'm just gonna throw your attention over. Here. Well, I'll start saying first. Uh, it wasn't the greatest day for me today. You know a lot of emotions going on. Uh, I really can never turn off my mind. Uh, just I'm just like my father, you know, just like a younger version of him. And uh, today's the 31st July, and it's actually the final day of the forbearance for the house. And what that means is that all that money is going to be due for the mortgage. It, it it's it's going to all be due. Pay, payment in forbearance payments stop, but interest keeps uh, keeps accruing. But um, what my mother's to do is stop that from happening right now it's called loan mitigation and basically what that is is foreclosure prevention that's what i like to call it and basically they evaluate your situation and try to find a way for you to stay in your house so you don't lose it because foreclosure sucks the big one and a lot of people have been through it it's not anything new it's it's not gonna you know it's it's very very sad you know with economic times right now which obviously not good you know interest rates have gone up to a 22 year high and uh you know it, it's just, everything's expensive right now nothing's cheap not about to get you know, cheap and, and that's the reason why i've been trying to try my hand at the lotto and see if i can uh, get those six numbers you know i almost won powerball mega millions uh, lucky for life those are the main ones uh, 28th of last month, I almost won Powerball. 28th of this month, I almost won Mega Millions. 28th, XG Triple I. So you know what? Uh, things are really just meant to happen happen for a reason. But I'm going to throw it over here. Uh, this this right here is basically, I'm just going to pan out because it's got some personal information there. Self-addressed envelope. All this right here is a loan modification form. You've got to fill that out. Got to give your get proofs, uh, you know, proof of residency, all that. W two, your wage statements, bank statements. My mother's gonna do all that. She's gonna do a hardship, and then she's gonna use a uh, printer right there, make copies of that, so it's our new printer. And she's been off and on lately. Um, you know, she's been okay. Yesterday she had a moment. Uh, she slammed something down in our kitchen. Uh, so she had to take a walk and walk it off and she got some cardio and exercise and she has this thing where she walks around on town around town doing singing you know hymns and uh, church music and stuff like that and, and, and it's good because it's a release for her and I want her to do that and she does you know family things she she'll go out and have a few drinks a few spirits and you know stuff like just some light drinks you know not a lot of alcohol and so, you know that's fine you know you can do that you know I, I want you to want wine I know you've been through a lot I get it I understand and she it was real real emotional I did something actually really really sweet yesterday I just stroked her hand and looked in her eyes I said hey it's, it's gonna be okay you, you, you're gonna be fine you're gonna get through this and I essentially turned on counseling mode because honestly 
when you have a situation like this, um, and you're a, a adult brother or sister, you know, and uh, or a, a son or adult son or daughter, I should say, and your parents go through something like this, death in the family, they have mental illness, they need they need help, and they need their kids to you know uh, you know prep them, coach them, you know, talk them up, and you know that's basically what I did. Just to, you know, make it feel better, you know, because with someone with mental illness, you don't want to yell and scream at them, don't want to say you're stupid or anything like that. You want to validate the emotion. That's a big thing. If you are dealing with someone with mental mental illness, you cannot approach it irrationally. you got to approach it with a soft voice. So they hear you, so that they can hear that, you know, it doesn't rile them up, and it doesn't put them back in that delusional state of mind, because... My mother, basically, I'd say she pretty much had psychosis. Uh, maybe a little bit of schizo, you know, schizophrenia. Uh, talking to herself, voices, everything like that. Uh, she still has some times where she thinks that there's... E well, unfortunately, she had mediums come in. Psychic mediums, quote-unquote. And they're supposed to come in and say, oh, you know, they talk with the dead and all that. And my mother got really effed up by that. And she basically, a medium came here, and by my mother's volition, uh, basically, month, my mother thinks the medium let about a whole bunch of negative energy in here. So that negative energy has never left, and because of that, this house is her kryptonite. And what that means is something, somebody strong is affected by something weak. In other words, the weak thing, the weak force, is this house. So it's like to say, shouldn't be in this house anymore. And honestly, I think that's true. You know, she should have guardianship. She should have assistant living. She should have a, a different environment, different roof over her head, because you know it, it, it. You know it's gonna it be really, really better for her. You know, so she doesn't stay cooped up in the place where my dad passed and all the bad happened. Because, you know, you don't want to surround yourself with that. You want to get away from that. You want to, you know, you want to restructure your life so that you don't have those things happen. And that's what we talk about. You know, when I, I'm sitting here and she's sitting on my bed and we talk sometimes, we'll talk. I'm just, I just talk with her to keep her, you know, I say, stay with me, stay with me, stay calm. And it helped out her a lot yesterday. I think she came back and she was fine. I just kind of stayed with her. I said, okay, because she's really big on the God of Jesus thing. Uh, it's definitely an addiction as far as I can see. You know, she can't really find a medium with it. My middle ground. So I said, okay, you go from room to room. You say... Okay, from steps one, step all, be positive. God's with you in every room, so be positive. You don't have to yell, scream, anything like that. And that's what it boils down to right now. Uh, so, you know, with all that said, the help, um, you know, I don't know. Hopefully it, it's happening. The guys that I'm in contact, I'm talking with on, you know, he's just really busy working on his game. And he's saying, you know, it needs missions. It's probably going to last, he didn't say this, but I'm just assuming it's going to be a long time, and I can't wait a long time. Forbearance is done today. And I was on edge and really, really frustrated today. You know, a lot was ticking me off. And I've had days like that before, and you're going to have good and bad days like that. You know, but you do got to keep moving forward. You can't stop. You can't get stifled. You can't deprive yourself. you got to keep moving forward. And as a man... Honestly, I just say, you know, you got to set higher standards. Men set higher standards of themselves. And I do. You know, because my dad did. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm waiting for some pizza to get here. You know, my mother's going to be here after 7, so she's going to try to tackle all this loan stuff. She's got to do it, because, you know, she doesn't have time to do it. And plain and simple, this is what I say. It's not homework. It's your livelihood. It's not something that's due. It's something that's important. It can't be skipped over. It can't be ignored. It's got to be taken seriously. So, uh, yeah, that's that's where I'm at right now. I just wanted to get, let you guys know where I am. I do still play Lotto. Uh, I'm almost, like I said, almost won Mega Millions on the 28th. Uh, I think I'll be hitting Powerball tonight. Tried Lucky for Life last night. I haven't had good luck lately, but I think I'm going to hit the big one. And I definitely need it. But this phone is burning up. Charge is probably going down, so Aaron here, fantasy CEO, Triple I Games, crazy bitch, clumsy story. Be well, be safe, be about your ambition, hug your loved ones always, because in a world that is getting crazy, man, crazy, 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 including politics. 
Your loved one needs to hear need to hear it from you. Like they want they want need to hear it from you. Like they need to hear it. They need to hear it from you. You need to hear it from them. There, got it out. All right. So I'll be back. Plenty more on the way. Apologies for all the sit reps on uh, my YouTube, which I call Extreme Triple I too. Point is, it's my game. It's like these little RDR2 GTA style timestamps, which I think is real, real cool. You're getting insights on my my story and what's under my roof. All right. Thank you so much. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.